If you have an upstairs laundry, it's a good idea to install a washing machine drain pan if at all possible. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. It's fairly simple, but I'll try to show you as many things as I can that are useful to making this project easier and hopefully lasting you a really long time. Here is the drain pan itself, and my drain tube is going down right below here. The drain pan typically comes with your initial connector, which this one did. I will link to one of these in the description below so that you can order the right one. There are oversized ones that are designed to fit a front load washer or dryer, and that's what this one is. This one's a 27 by 30 inch, and the sides are two and an eighth inches high. And we can see right here, this is the connector uh, for connecting it to a one inch PVC drain line. Now this thing is loose right now. I can push this up and down a little bit. And right here is uh, where we'll be slipping that over the top of it. So we're actually gonna be drilling a new hole in our pan right about there. The way this thing seals is mainly just sealing up against uh, this bottom edge here, utilizing this gasket. So this gasket goes in between the bottom layer of the tray and then you tighten this nut down on top of everything. But we're not gonna rely on that exclusively. We're gonna be using some silicone and some other stuff in order to get this sealed up well. We'll definitely get a lot of silicone in and down around this here so that there's no possibility of water leaking under and down and underneath the tile. Really, really, really don't want that. So ultimately this will be sitting at about this level and then uh, this will all be filled with silicone in here. And that drain line then is indirectly uh, drains into my laundry tub in the basement. Indirect drains are nice because you don't have to worry about traps and sewer gas and that kind of stuff, whereas if you directly connect to the sewer system, you do have to worry about those things. So if at all possible, an indirect drain is a really good option for where to drain this to. I'll show you where it drains to a little bit later in the video. So they have pre-marked holes that you could theoretically snap out or whatever, and the pre-marked holes are an inch and a quarter, so we're gonna be uh, drilling this one out to an inch and a quarter over here. And the, what we're gonna be using to do that is a step bit. Now, a step bit is super nice because you can stop at any one of these increments going all the way up to inch and three eighths, it looks like. So we'll be stopping at the second to last spot right there. We'll stop and check it as we drill it to make sure we don't over drill the size too much. What is the deal with this cat? Hi, cat. You like to leave cat hair all over my nice uh, thing here? So I've got my center point of the hole marked out. So we'll go ahead and drill that here now. A lot of times it helps to just to drill from the opposite side a little bit as well to clean up that burr that inevitably happens. Beautiful. So there we have it. Hopefully I drilled the hole in the right spot. Let's go up and check if we did. <laughs> Beautiful. From this side over here and an inch from the back, I still have to put in trim and we're probably going to put in a little bit thicker style trim. So that's why. Looks good. All right, so we're going to seal underneath and around this thing as much as possible. We're just gonna use 100% silicone, just like this. Give it a quit right there. I think that will actually be enough in there. I really want it to be sealed well to the outer edges, which I think it's gonna be. We're gonna go ahead and bring a little bit of this silicone in and onto the bottom surface right here. And then we'll use our gasket, which I got nicely cleaned off here now. Go back down. And we'll add a little bit more silicone right here to seal between the threads and the pan. And now we should have absolutely no problems with this thing in the future. And since this is a plastic nut on here, I'm just gonna get hand tight for the most part. So right here is my laundry tub and then straight up above it here, we have our drain coming from that washing machine drain pan upstairs. So if there was to be any sort of an overflow occurrence, it would just flow straight down out of this pipe. I could extend this a little bit more if I wanted to, but I'm fairly confident it'll mostly make it into the pile of stuff 
<laughs> and into the laundry tub, hopefully. Uh, so that's what we would call an indirect drain, like I was talking about, instead of connecting it into your main plumbing. Not going to have any sewer gas issues or anything like that. And, you know, even if a little bit of water did spill out onto the floor here, that really wouldn't be a big deal at all. So that's where it's draining to. So that's how you install a washing machine drain pan. For a few more washer and dryer related videos, click right here on this playlist. We're going to get the washing machine and the dryer installed, as well as convert the dryer from a natural gas dryer to a propane dryer. So if you're uh, gonna be doing any of that, hit that playlist and we'll see you there in a few seconds. If you thought this was helpful, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe down below, and hit the bell to turn on notifications so you see every time when I upload a video. Thanks a ton for watching. And we'll talk to you right over there.